Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Alathrix. And of course, welcome back to the sandbox mode, where today we are going to be building our second ship. Today, we are also going to be going with mortars, similar to this design, but instead, we're going to be testing something new out. We are going to be testing out the new cram mortars. The current cram cannon over here is a regular cram cannon. It fires around about at the target, hoping to land a hit, whereas the mortars, as you can well imagine, will be firing at extremely high angles right into the air and then slowly allowing the shell to fall onto their faces. Now the reason you would do this is because the new cram mortar shells, or at least cram shells which are fired up at such high degrees, do have a very slight amount of homing. They will slowly target the enemy and move towards it on their descent, making them significantly more useful than they used to be. This means that the shells will normally hit the enemy on top of them, which can be really good versus turrets and all sorts of other things, but also we can get away with using very slow shells since we're firing them at such high angles and well it should be a load of fun very large shells just slow and absolutely packed with explosives so loads of really large explosions now originally i was intending to go ahead and simply have this cram cannon over here be removed and then adding the mortars but instead we're going to be building a brand new ship from scratch because we do need a new legion at the moment it's this boat and a tiny tank not exactly striking fear into the hearts of our enemies Another reason why I want it to be a separate ship from the original is I want it to have a different behaviour. So the original over there is going to be sitting at the back, fairly static, simply firing crams at the side of the enemy ship. Whereas this one, I want to actually circle the enemy. So what we're going to do is have a spine of cram cannons, at least three. I'm thinking maybe four or five. I'm not quite sure about the size of these things. I don't want this to be a huge ship, somewhat similar to the original, maybe a little bit larger. But either way, a spine of cram cannons, which can fire to the left or the right just fine and then the ship will slowly circle the enemy. That way, it's a little bit harder to hit, it's going to be different to the original, I think it's going to be just way more fun to have the variance in the fleet. So what I'm going to do is lay down the basic shape of the ship, and then we can get to work. Bear in mind, I've not made one of these cram ah, mortars yet, and apparently I can't even build. So this is going to be fun. So this one's going to be far flatter than the original ship, it's probably only going to come to about this height, the cram cannons will be under deck, and there's probably only going to be a very minimal keel, since most of the weight's going to be below the water line anyway. At least that's how I'm thinking right now. So how big should I want this? I want it to be of a similar style to the first, though. I want them all to blend. What is that original one doing? You can deal with large waves, but that tiny wave there just messed you up. Okay, good to know. Note to self, still might need some work on that one's AI. About this size, perhaps, maybe a little bit wider. Well, that looks a little bit different to what I usually do, so sure, that should work out just fine in terms of cutting through the water. Then we just have a lip around the outside, which we can add more stuff to later to make it look a bit more natural, and we'll raise this lip up straight away, unlike with the boat, which we did way too late to make it look like I was sort of on a surfboard, honestly. This time, it might look actually more like a ship. Imagine that, me building something I intend to build. Uh, dark days are apparently ahead of us. I think this one is going to be significantly more expensive than the original. But it should also have a lot more firepower. And be a lot more interesting. I mean, I love the original, but it is a more basic design, despite the fact I designed it like a floating tower. In terms of its functionality, it is pretty simplistic. This one's going to be a bit more weird. Okay, I quite like that, actually. So, so we have the metal holding the wooden sections there. We actually have a lot more metal on the inside, so that's fine. It's more for looks. You really should have metal on the outside, obviously. But, yeah, I just really like how this looks. Very different front. Normally I don't build like this, so I'm okay with that. Trying out new things, you know? Okay, a little bit further along. I might bring out one more. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But either way, bring it a little bit further back. Then have a standard back section. I'm actually tempted to add another fan. Or we could go crazy and go over to steam engines and maybe even have the new propellers. But those would be very expensive. And this isn't going to be a particularly fast craft. At some point I will build a much larger vehicle. And obviously this is the first thing I'm going to do. Just see how these things work. It's lovely to finally have new propellers. But right now it's just not for this design. 
Okay, pretty simple cram cannons have been added. They are at a decent gauge, I think 1,600. They could be made larger, but let's just see if these even function. So, turn off, turn off. There we are. And let's see. Whoa, okay. You've definitely fired. And you've hit space. Wait, why have only three of you fired? What happened to the fourth? Wow. Maybe we should slow down the shell speed, because that's insane. Okay, one isn't firing for some reason. Perhaps I've messed up with the controller. No worries, though. So, you can tell that there's some homing going on by how they're all kind of squishing together now. Though, I guess if they're firing at the same place, that may have happened anyway. We'll do testing on that later. Oh, that is... Gone. It's dead. Yep. Killed. Where are the next shots? There they are. Maybe I should give them some delay as well so they're a bit more scattered. Though that was phenomenal. Wonder what the range is on this thing. And now let's find out why one of you didn't fire. Now test now a longer range. Oh, I just paused it. There we go. Yeah, they're all aiming. Okay, so what I think's happening is that the first one's fire, and then the recoil caused the last one to lose aim. That's what I think happened, because I didn't fix anything. Now it is working. Yeah, range is going to be no issue with these things. But what I want to do now, whilst it's on its way, let's turn on movement of this craft. So these shells should not be hitting directly on target anymore. Unless they are correcting themselves mid-flight. In fact, yeah, the ship's moved at least one ship's distance now. So if there's no homing at all, these cram cannons should outright miss. But nope, they're still heading towards the middle of the ship, despite the fact it moved after it fired, meaning that the barrels couldn't have possibly been aiming here. And then... <laughs> Just straight through it. Not quite the perfect hit this time. It looks like one of the shells actually went through the hole made by the others, but yeah. Here comes some more. I like these. Oh, only three this time. Yeah, the recoil seems to really mess them up. It went perfectly through the gap again. So note to self, need to fix the recoil problem, and we need the cannons to be bigger, actually. Because as you see now, they're already turning orange-ish. And that's because there's not enough explosive in them. Because they're actually tiny. Still there. They get the job done. And they look amazing doing it. And that slight homing is definitely a thing. I like explosions. Okay, back to work then. Let's finish off the ship. Make it functional. Then we can fix the cannons to their final form. That is so fun. From the depths, this game so far. Against large ships, that's going to be amazing, like the, like the Onyx Watch. But against smaller ships, like the Deepwater Guard, it's going to be a bit hit and miss, mostly miss. Yeah, we really need to slow down these shells so they don't go so far into the sky. Local satellite companies would be concerned about this. Okay, things are starting to come together now. Once again, I want everything kind of built around the weapon, because I want them all to have a similar style in this first little test round of buildings. The metal's going to come up and probably end about here. We're going to have the barrels exposed on the side, because it'll just look way better than having them completely protected. I think I'll make the barrels a little bit longer as well to make them more accurate. And at the front, we have the small of the medium of the simple weapons. That's right, it's the smallest of the medium weapons, which are simple. Not the smallest of the small of the large to the large or the medium of the large. It is, in fact, the smallest of the medium. And that is that over here. Because I just wanted another weapon on the front. I thought it looked kind of barren. Gonna make it look a bit prettier in a little while. But look, the old school stairs. I can climb stairs, everybody. Aren't I special? Okay, so we need the back to be a little bit longer, but honestly, not by all that much. I don't want this to be too large. 
right now, its size is actually quite small. It's just expensive because all the weaponry and the armor. I've actually armored up the inside quite heavily. There's layers on the side, there's layers here, there's also space armor, and then there's armor in between each cram cannon. So, one of them shouldn't be able to destroy the others if it's destroyed itself, even with the explosions. I'm amazed this thing's floating. Just, there's also a lot of wood. I like building with wood. Oh, that's something interesting. We can fire backwards. Because I haven't added elevation barrels, I've added the regular motor barrels. This thing can fire 360! That's gonna look stupid, but it's gonna make it way more effective. I guess as well, we only need slight movements. No, I have added elevation barrels, only a couple of motors. Which means that tiny little angle is enough to hit things directly behind it. Also, that just did 244,000 damage. But sadly, because they all hit the same place, it's all going to do the same damage in the same area. Against larger targets, that's good, of course, because it'll even cleave through heavy armor. But against lighter targets, you probably want it to be a bit more scattered. <laughs> the accuracy, though! Going through the holes it's already made! Oh, I love this game! Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne, cram mortars for me! That's amazing. So, we actually kind of want the target to move, although it's going to keep doing that. Oh, although if we add aim point selection, will that make it more randomized so it won't keep on going for the same place? Because that would be nice. Because that's silly. It's like we're mocking it. Can we please land a shot? Yeah, by the way, the point is it's firing backwards. Yeah. Should I leave it like that or not? Uh, tell me in the comments. Should I leave it like this? Obviously, it's going to make it way more effective. Because no matter where the target is, we're going to be able to rain down death upon them. But, <laughs> oh, it's so silly. Okay, let's keep building. We actually have plenty of space. Um, I was considering extending it further, but we have like three compartments now for the engine and for the ammo. And that's kind of all we need. Gonna add a propeller at the back, similar to the other craft. They both blend together, and yeah, we're actually almost done. It's gonna look a lot more simple than the other craft, but I like it. This is gonna have way more engine power than the last craft. We could actually make this go quite quick. Don't particularly want that, though. We still definitely want the fan at the back, just because I love how that looks. So we're gonna add the fan fairly soon. We're almost finished now with the weapons. I'm thinking I might actually add a couple more small guns, just because how cheap these are. At the point, the craft is now currently at 16,000 resources, so I feel like a little bit more defense, just a couple of these, just to make it more general purpose might be worth it, because it's only increasing the cost by 1,500 per weapon. Sorry, just 1,000 per weapon, so it's not really adding much cost. We have the ammunition easily to support this fairly soon. I think it's going to be just fine. I knew things looked too dark, so what I'd accidentally done is I'd left the settings as they were when we were building our tanks because the sand was just way too bright for us, and, well, yeah, it made everything really dreary in the water campaign. There we go, now everything's shiny and bright again. Much better. I actually really like how this looks. The hull is done in a way I don't normally do, which is nice. I think this section here looks quite sturdy, and now all we need to do is the back section. Also, we have our lovely flag, symbolizing the kindness we are bringing to this galaxy. World. Playing Stellaris too much. Make sure this thing will stay balanced. At the moment, we really don't need these in the center, and I'm going to be changing these later. Now, I know you can do things now with the... Where are you? In the AI, we now have a breadboard, I believe. If I'm not going blind, there we are. We also have way more ways of balancing just using the AI and not PIDs, but that's what I'm used to at the moment, so I'm going to stick with those until I've got all the other new elements down. Then, I'll start swapping over and converting, because they still get the job done at the moment, even if currently it is a bit overtuned, so I am overshooting left and right and left and right, but that's fine. That'll be easily fixed. Now, like I keep saying, let's do the back section already and armor it up, because at the moment the inside is just empty, except for the engine. Okay, so change my mind. I think what I'm going to do is use the regular propellers rather than using the deader blades. That way, it should be a little bit more stable, a little bit easier to control, and ultimately easier to retrofit later, which I'll probably end up doing, honestly, as I get better at relearning a lot of the game. 
a bit stubby on the back there, but I am actually running out of time. I'm still having to work at night because of the construction work. Thankfully, this should be the last day. So after today, I should be able to put in normal hours of recording, which is going to be great because From the Depths is the ultimate time sink. Okay. Let's give this thing the ability to turn. Finally decide if I am going to use the dedicated Hellerblade spinners. And then we can give this thing an actual test fight. Honestly, I don't think it's going to do fantastically. But I think when it does do well, it's going to be phenomenal to watch. And we are moving and rocking quite a lot. Because like I say, I have overtuned the PID right now. It's overcompensating massively. But it definitely won't sink or completely roll over. Okay, that's all well and good. We should also be trying to keep a broadside of around about 1,000 meters away from the target. Well, between 1,000 and 1,500. So it's a spawn in the Marauder. Don't let it fire, because... Loud! I just want to see how this thing moves. Maybe I should add the dedicated Hellerblade. This is very slow. Still need to slow down these shells. We want an extreme angle, but we also want it to hit them at some point this century. Oh yeah, I haven't added the ability to turn yet. I'm dumb. <laughs> that is phenomenal. Oh, I'm dumb, but I can make things go boom. <laughs> what more do you need from life? How did I get through university? Oh yeah, by making things go boom. The joys of being a scientist. Okay, we should be trying to get away from the target, which we are now. Then we should be entering the broadside probably now. Yep. Excellent. So now we're going around it. But I could make that angle a bit better. Also, I've just blocked up the exhausts for the engine. I just remembered that as well. Can I have one test or is that something I forgot? Boom. Yeah, really we should lower the gauge or add some more explosive pellets. Either way, that's something for future Lathrix to deal with. Remember when I said the flag was too centralised? Well, apparently, almost on autopilot, I've put it right in the middle for some reason. I have no idea why I've just done that. I really, really do not. Okay, so ladders please, thank you. Put these up here, add some more railings because, you know, safety first in the giant wooden mortar ship. Yeah, that's what we're going with, safety. How silly would it look if I had railings around the side of this? Probably very silly. Yeah, we'll leave it like that, but maybe we'll indent it a little bit because at the moment having it right on the outside just looks a bit silly. And you're going away. Okay. Going to be doing something very simple. There's a video player. Today we're going to be testing out the brand new cluster missile. Now so far I've not been able to really successfully Oh I don't like this. Make me go away, make me go away. <laughs> Ooh. How do you people listen to that? Okay, as much as I hate to say it, right now I am really, really out of time. I've just looked over at the clock and I'm a full hour over when I wanted to stop this video. So, I need to call it quits here. I've had a load of fun today and I need to start making ships which look a bit more unique. I love this section here. I hate the back section. I'm going to completely rip it out and add a new arse to this thing. And I do love the weapons. I actually like how the centerpiece looks. It just needs more decoration, which if I had more time, I would have added. It's almost like this is the finished shell, so it's functional. But there's so much more we need to add still. So, gonna give it a proper fight. Let's turn off god mode. Whee! And let's add in one of our new other ships, because that'll be fun. It should really win. This one costs significantly more. Little bit unfair. I did just aim this thing right at the new ship, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> that's gonna hurt. Oh, it moved just in time! And he's trying to get away because it is far too close. Still forgot to slow down the shells. Okay, we're going to slow down the shells as a final test as well. Oh, the small gun's doing some damage. Actually, yeah, it really is. 
Still waiting for the cram. I think we just took a hit. Yes, we did. Not all that much damage dealt. This thing is significantly better armored than the original. Ooh, we'll have a look at that in a second. And, oh, the mortars just removed the ship from existence. I will be testing this out versus harder enemies later on. Whee! Oh, <laughs> I love them! Oh, I love them so much. Okay, you can stop now. Stop! It's already dead! That wasn't too bad. Took two cram cannons and... Ah, it's done some damage on the inside, but the layered armor has mostly kept it safe. Only one hole going through the three layers there. Okay, very nice indeed. Okay, let's slow down these shells and let's make sure we still have range on this thing. So stop moving, because I want to test you out at specific ranges. Then, let's do some changes. Okay, so I have now halved the velocity. Let's load in you again. Taking a lot longer to aim because it has to have a more severe angle. Still going to land on top of the target though. That's what I'm really looking for. I want it to make sure it always hits right on the very top. Pink. Well, if it aimed at the right block, it would have hit the top. Did some of them bounce? Yeah, I'm going to add a delay to them as well. So, remove you from existence. I'm going to add a very slight delay to each. So that first volley, it'll be one shoots, then the other, then the other, then the other. Not just all of them at once. As much as that looks really cool and will go through pretty much anything... I think it'll look cooler if they hit in a in a succession, really. If I can use my words, not stammer for once. Okay, the finished version for now. So, we are 23k materials, well, just about 24k, and we are just about 4,000 volumes. So a little bit larger than expected, but about the same cost as what I was really thinking it was going to be. And we're going to fight against the Ironclad, because I absolutely adore the Ironclad. There it is. Way more expensive, way larger, but it is using advanced cannons, which apparently are not quite as good as they used to be at this point. At least that's what I've been told. I could be very wrong about that, bear in mind. But let's just give this a test. Make sure God mode is off. Yes, it is. Now, the one problem is, I have set it, so we're still going very far away from the target, but with the lower velocity, there's a chance we won't be able to fire straight away. So, let's just see. Well, a small weapon can fire, at least. There is a delay on the weapon, so I'm going to see how bad the recoil affects that. Nope, that's exactly what I wanted to see. All of them are now airborne. Getting lots of shots off. We're doing a little bit of damage with the light weapons, and here comes the main weapon. I do have a fuse on these shells, by the way, for 10 degrees. I'm not quite sure why they're bouncing. Oh, and the enemy is dead. Okay, so yeah, these shells definitely do enough damage to warrant their use. And I love the fact they hit the top. So, with that though, I am afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. A huge thank you again to all the support I've been seeing so far. It has been absolutely fantastic. This is honestly the best the channel's done in a while, which is a lovely, lovely motivator, I have to say, but I have just been having loads of fun with this. So glad to be back. So, things I need to change. Need to finish off the back. I've just half the power of the engines. Half the engine is simply gone now because we didn't need that much power. And I'm tempted to make it more efficient and less um, powerful, even more so, off camera. And I just, need, I just need to add some more decorations to make it look a little bit more interesting. As you can probably tell, I'm getting very tired now. My stammer is getting significantly worse. So, I'm just going to go away. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Do take care. Goodbye. Next time, I'm thinking a drone with cram bombs, because that would be hilarious. I do want to make a drone using the, the new AI setting, because it's very easy to allow the enemy to simply sit above the enemy and then bombard hell upon the enemy. 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 Goodbye. Sleepy.